Alright, hello everybody. I've got uh, a new schematic here. If you can see that. So, I've got the running battery and 12 volt, I don't know, 50 amp hour or something like that. And make sure it's grounded. I noticed I was getting sparks right off the battery, and uh, once I grounded that, it uh, fixed that, so now the chips won't be experiencing any more than the voltage they should be. Um, I'm just going to show you the circuit. Um, this is the circuit I used from RM Cybernetics. Uh, signal generator input here and negative except I'm using two uh, so add another one here connect the negative to the positive negative sorry positive to the negative negative to the positive and that's called anti-parallel so we're looking at that right here I only used one transistor though, so I didn't use three of those. One was heating up, and that wasn't good. So that's that circuit. Um, the uh, patents that we're looking at. This is the the Don. <laughs> And uh, this way it works as well. Um, so here I'll be showing this one t today. And I actually have this one wound as well. It's kind of an interesting one. Uh, where is it? This guy. So you've got half double back coil clamp it in here use your primary to go in between I haven't really played around with it too much I haven't figured out what size coil would actually work so kind of need an adjustable primary almost anyway so <clears throat> Briefcase driver just mentioned the uh, coil directions I showed. Uh, it's basically you can adjust, you know, where you want to uh, clamp the coil. Uh, I'm using a 37 and a half turn uh, primary right here. So I don't know if you guys have been getting this. Anyway. Um, probably don't need them because I can take this one off and it makes no difference. But uh, a couple of uh, ceramic caps, 40 kV, one and a half nanos, and uh, it's going to a couple microwave diodes. The negative is earth grounded, and that becomes the negative on the capacitors just like Don's, and uh, back to the, out to the load. <coughs> Watch the F out, man. Not dangerous. Fatal. I scared myself earlier with this thing. So, keep in mind, there will never be a time where it draws more than uh, 0.5 to 3 quarters of an amp at 12 volts. And uh, we'll see what the battery alone can do to light up the lights. And then we'll run the machine, the system. And considering the low voltage input and the current reading, you should be able to assume 
you know, guess whether or not you see more coming out than <clears throat> it's flowing through that little amp meter at 12 volts. <laughs> Um, moving on, I guess, uh, we've got the, uh, microwave diodes, um, coming off the high volt driver, and, uh, 005 capacitor in between, adjustable spark gap in series, you see that, parallel capacitor, series spark. So these are adjustable, and inserting uh, the primary makes a difference. Uh, I've been playing around with a few, uh, just a couple of wines, and then I've been playing with the uh, higher wines. I had 68 turns on my primary, and I took about half of that off. So I've got 37 and a half right now, and uh, I figure that's about a quarter of the length of my. 14 gauge secondary here. Um, just the diameter multiplied by pi times the number of turns, right? So, anyway, uh, let's get this started. Hopefully, you've seen that enough there. So, I got the capacitors uh, that are charging off the output here, and that's where it becomes totally fatal. I would, like, guarantee that. So I'll show you what it does with just 12 volt bulbs and the battery. So I've got uh, five or six bulbs. I've lost a, a couple just recently, uh, but I'll show you what's going on here. So, two bulbs, no big deal, one bulb, three bulbs, four, five, mm, barely even registers, eh? So we'll take those off. Busted a couple chips earlier. Thanks to leaving those on. So then we've got our output caps. We'll hook up. Uh, actually, I'll save those for a bit because those are <laughs> those are a little dangerous. <coughs> got five bulbs, 12 volts, half an amp, turn off the duty cycle a little bit, So that should work for our purposes. <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, switch her off here. So you'd agree that they're all pretty much lit at uh, a little over half an amp, 12 volts, and um, more so than 
you know, just the 12 volts alone, obviously the voltage is stepped way up. So I'll switch her off. Put on our output caps. Oh, and uh, it wasn't even really adjusted. So voltage builds up as you get uh, further away the coils build up. Not so much on this coil, but uh, that could be the uh, direction of the turns and stuff like that. I haven't quite mastered that yet. Anyway, um, so a little discharge there. Nothing major, major, right? too often. These uh, these wires just went through like an amazing warming process. I'll do that again for you though. So you tell me if that was more than 12 volts at uh, half an amp. Talk to you guys later. <laughs>